Los Alamitos High School for the Junior Varsity game. Kick sails down. Jake Minter with the ball. And that's where you do it, baby. You run north-south. Good positive yardage on that. All right, Minter took the ball out to the 40-yard line. Savinio Mata hands off. Oh, Gabe Carlos picks up about three yards on the play, four yards, and then he blew the whistle. He was down before the fumble happened. All right, Gabe Carlos did better than we thought. Picked up five yards on the play. Second down and five from the 45. He gets the ball again, finds a big hole. Running, running, running. Inside the 40, down to the 38-yard line. All right, Carlos got it down to the 36-yard line. First and 10 for Edison from there. Niamata waits, takes, drops straight back, throws, downfield, and... Don't know what happened there. All right, that incomplete pass brings up second down and five for your JV Chargers. Niamata takes a snap. And they were trying to do a screen and over through the intended receiver. All right, it's third down and 10 from the 36 yard line. Niamata drops straight back, throws, throwing downfield. Oh. See who that was, that's number two, that's Gavin Slaughter, incomplete, fourth down. All right, it's uh, fourth and 10, Edison's coaches decide to go for the punt. Fair catch called, actually that turned out to be a decent play. Ball is inside the 10. All right, Los Alamitos will start just inside their 10 yard line. Hand off to the running back. Finds a big hole, comes outside, looks a lot like last night. All right, the reason that play looks so good is there was holding. Penalty brings the ball back to the five. This time they buried the running back. Committee, including number 31, Matt Lopez. All right, missed the start of that ball. Oh, buried in the backfield. That's number 82, Scotty Gridley, who's come on in this last two games. Tackle for a loss. All right, just like the varsity did last night, the uh, Los Salamitas team is coming out quickly. Quarterback looks, throws. Oh, nearly intercepted, and it is! It's number 20, Benjamin Martinez. Got the initial touch on, flicked it up in the air, and caught it himself. Excellent job, and Edison has great. Great field position. All right, on that last play, the officials blew it off, said it was not an interception. We'll slow it down, look at replay later. Line drive hit. Minner gets the ball. We're in great field position, just inside the 30. All right, Edison gets the ball just on the 30 yard line. First and 10. Savi Niamata waits. Takes, looks, throws. Oh, incomplete intended for number 16. That's Carson Daniels. It is second down and 10 from the 30 after that incompletion. Niamata gives. Carlos finds room on the outside. He's got plenty of room to go. Got a good block down there. In the end zone, touchdown. A flag on the play. Okay, they call that uh, play back, a block in the back down the field. We'll look at it on a replay. I don't think it was. We'll see. Nimata gets quick screen out to Minter. Minter turns. Gets by the first guy. Gets first down. Still going, still going, still going. Into the end zone. Touchdown! Jake Minter saying he was out of bounds. Still a fine run. All right, they say Jake Minner stepped out at the 10-yard line, but it's still a first and goal from the 10 for Edison. Niamata waits, takes, rolls his right, throws, and overthrows his intended receiver, Minter. All right, it's second down and goal from the 10-yard line for Edison. Niamata takes, give to Carlos. He's met immediately, still running. All right, third and goal from the 10. We're just inside. Nimada drops back, getting pressured and sacked. 
All right, if you're looking for Nico Bama to wear 81, he's not. He's lucky number seven. We'll see if he's lucky here. Good job by the uh, holder to get that, and it's up and good. And with that, Edison capitalizes on that good field position and takes a 3-0 lead in the ball game. All right, Nico Alabama back to kick off for Edison. Approaches the ball, puts it up in the air. Fakes the reverse, comes the outside. Oh, a block in the back they missed. And the fans are not happy with the officials who missed that holding and blocking the back call. All right, Los Altos going, I mean Los Alamitos going for the extra point. The ball is up. And I think it's good. And with that, it's seven to three. All right, Los Al fresh off a kickoff return for a touchdown. We'll be kicking off. Ball sails to Minter, stumbles, fumbles. And sometimes, oh, face mask! With 5.53 to go in this first quarter, Edison has the ball, first and 10 from the 40 after that face mask penalty. Carlos gets the ball and is met by everybody. They're calling a fumble, we're going to see. And the officials, of course, give it to Los Al. All right, it's first and 10 after that uh, fumble recovery. Strip actually throws outside. Nearly picked off. Catch is complete, but he was on her knees, so the ball is dead there. All right, second down. We'll call it a long one. Tailback gets the ball, dances outside, and is buried. That's number 51 on that. That is Nate. The fleck in his back. All right, goes lost on the play. Brings up third down. We'll call that a long one, a short two. Quarterback throws. Oh, great defense out there. Don't see who that was. He broke it up. Brings up fourth down. Fourth down. Tailback gets the ball. And it looks like he's held short. Ball turns over on downs. She's on the bottom of that, number 37. That is David Vasquez and a whole bunch of other chargers. Nehemiah takes, drops, looks, throws, downfield. And caught by Carson Daniels. At the 30 yard line, big bomb from Neumata. All right, these officials said that ball was incomplete. Uh, we'll slow, obviously, we slowed it down already. I just haven't seen it yet. Okay, Neumata drops back again. This time throws onto this side. And it is caught for a big first down, Jake Minter. It is first and 10 for Edison from the 36 yard line. Niamata, quick out to Minter. Minter's got some room, comes outside, picks up about seven, eight yards on the play. All right, we're gonna call that a seven yard pickup on that play. So it's second down and three. Niamata, fakes. Out to number five, that's Aiden Brown. He gets the first down. All right, Aiden Brown took the ball down to the 18-yard line. First and 10 for Edison Niamata. Steps up. He's got a lot of room to run. He's a big kid. Hang on to that ball. Gets down near the 15-yard line. All right, second down and three. We'll call that ball on the 12-yard line. Niamata looks back. Scrambles right. Throws. Ball's tipped in the end zone and incomplete. Where's the flag? All right, it's third down. We're going to call that three for Edison. Ball still in 12. Carlos gets the ball, finds a hole, punches ahead. The line gives him some surge. We'll see where they place that. All right, for you European viewers again, it's a uh, fourth down and a meter. Neumata gets the ball, keeps it, runs outside, finds lots of room, gets a lot of room. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Edison! <laughs> Neumata's had eight touchdown passes in two games, and this is his first rushing touchdown. All right, Nico Alabama back for the point after try. Ball is up, and it is good. 
And with that, the Edison offense has responded and taking the lead back 10-7, 157 to go in this first quarter. All right, Edison has responded. Nico Bammer kicking off. Squib kick down the middle, gets a good bounce. Picked up by Lil Sal. They're already going to have good field position. And he's knocked himself back by his own players. All right, it is first and 10 for Los Salamitos. Quarterback drops straight back, throws downfield, and gets a completion close to a first down. Second down and short for the Griffins. They need a meter. Quarterback takes the ball, he's trying to throw one downfield. He's going to step up, got a lot of room. Throw! And out of bounds. All right, Los Alamitos is going to go for it. It's, actually, it's third down and short. Tailback gets the ball, finds a hole up the middle. Tackles on the play by number 20. Number 20 is Benjamin Martinez. All right, first and 10 for Los Alamitos. Tailback gets the ball again. This time he's snagged down. It's number 59, Cooper Cirillo. Second down and 10 for Los Salamitos. Quarterback drops straight back, throws out to... A heck of a catch there. That was a heck of a catch. Got to give credit where credit's due. Third down, we'll call that a long three for Los Salamitos. Quarterback drops straight back. Looks, throws out, and another completion. Number two is up in the air. Moore coming up with some good stuff here. All right, with that, the uh, first quarter finally came to an end. That was a very long quarter. Tailback gets the ball, comes inside, finds a hole. Tackled on the play, looking for a number. Number 20 is Benjamin Martinez, having a good game so far. All right, Los Alamitos with the ball. We're gonna call that 31 yard line. Tailback gets the ball again. This time doesn't find any room. Buried on the 30 yard line. On the bottom of that, number 82. Number 82 is Scotty Gridley. All right, third down and one for Los Alamitos. Tailback, get, no, quarterback keeps. Dance around the corner, finds some room, and gets the first down. All right, first and 10 for Los Alamitos. Quarterback drops straight back, throws out to the flat. This time overthrows the receiver. All right, the ball's on the 26-yard line, second down and 10 for Los Alamitos. Quarterback looks, throws straight out. Oh, and that goes nowhere on the coverage. Number 25, that's Carson Schmidt. It is third down and 10. The ball's on the 26. The uh, stands are rocking here. The Edison crowd is excited. Throws deep and overthrows everybody. Brings up fourth down. Fourth down and 10. Low solid miss in no man's land. Decides to go for it. Gets away from the sack. There's a flag on the play. And he's tackled short of the first down anyway. All right, there's 9.39 left to go in this first half. Edison with the ball, first and 10 from the 20 yard line. Neumata waits, waits, takes, gives to the tailback. Carlos finds a little room, picks up about three, maybe four yards on the run. All right, they gave Carlos about three, a long three on that, so it's second down and a long six, short seven. Neumata looks, throws downfield. And high point catch, that's number 16, Carson Daniels. First down, Edison. They were a dynamic duo last week, and they're off to a good start here. The Daniels first down puts the ball just on the 40-yard line. New model waits. Gives to Carlos again. Dances outside. Finds some room. Gets first down. Still moving. Excellent first down run for Gabe Carlos. All right, first down for your Edison Chargers. Ball on the 22. Carlos gets it in. Makes the first man miss. But it looks like he picked up uh, no gain, maybe a yard on the play. We'll see. Okay, Carlos lost a meter on the play, so it brings down second down and a little over 10 yards to go for a first down. He waits, takes the snap, looks, looks, decides to run. A lot of room in front. 
A lot of room. Oh, makes the first man miss. It is third down and a long three from the 15 for Edison. Nehemiah waits. Looks, throws. Oh, and overthrows Aiden Brown. All right. Fourth down and three for Edison. We're in no man's land. Nehemiah takes. The ball snap low. He throws. And he ends up touchdown. Aiden Brown. What outstanding presence by Neo Mata to take the low snap that hit the ground, pick it up, and toss a dart into the end zone to Brown. All right, Nico Alabama on. Good snap. Ball is up, and it's good. And with 6.46 left to go in this first half, Edison has taken a 10-point lead, 17-7. to All right, Edison with the kickoff. Squib kick rolling down in the middle of the field. Gets a good high bounce. Picked up and on the bottom of that. Let's see who that was. That's number 23. Number 23 is Jeremiah Ross. First down for Los Alamitos. Quarterback patiently waiting. Takes a snap. Looking to throw. Throws downfield. And incomplete on the coverage, number 14, Jake Fromm. Second down for Los Alamitos, 10 to go, tailback gets the ball. And that's number 37 on the tackle, that's David Vasquez. It's third down and seven from the 35 yard line. Quarterback drops, throws, out to the flat. And they call him out of bounds. We bring up fourth down. All right, punting situation for Los Alamitos. High snap. Punter comes up with it. Gets the ball off. All right, the ball touched a special teams player from Los Alamitos at the 38-yard line. So Edison gets the ball first and 10 from there. Niamata fakes, throws out. Good move, moving still. That's Jake Minder, first down. All right, there was a dead ball personal foul penalty after the first down, so it was spotted back, so it's first in. We'll call that 18 yards to go. Niamata drops, throws downfield, wide open. Great catch. That's number five, Aiden Brown. Hands of glue, baby! All right, that Niamata to Brown completion took the ball down to the 40-yard line. Again, a great fingertip catch by Brown. Niamata drops again, throws downfield, and no connection there. Second down and 10 from the 40-yard line. Niamata waits. Throws out to Brown. Brown moves out, picks up a couple yards on the play. 3.57 left to go in the first half. Edison with a third and eight. Niamato looks, looks, inside screen. That's first down, he could go! Oh, the way, touchdown, Edison! That's number six, Cooper Dobbs! Excellent call, and it'll, it'll, it'll inside screen, and Dobbs took it 38 yards for the touchdown. All right, Nico Alabama on, waiting for the snap. Here it comes, good set, ball down, it's up, and it's good. And with that, your Edison JV Chargers have sh shot out to a 24 to seven lead with 3.41 to go in this first half. All right, Edison, 24-7 on Los Alamitos. Bammer back. Boots one another squib. Let's see what kind of bounce this one gets. And it's number 31 right there. Johnny on the spot. That's Matt Lopez. Also there was number 27, Caleb Kingsbury. 10 from the 35 for Los Alamitos. Quarterback gets it out quickly. Five-yard gain. On the coverage, Gavin Slaughter. 
second down and five for Los Alamitos. Takes a low snap, tries to throw. He's still running, 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 running. And is taken down by number, I'm waiting for a number that's number 51, Nate the Flecken. All right, what you didn't see was an offside penalty against Edison giving Los Sal a first down. Quarterback drops, drops, throws, looks downfield, intercepted! Intercepted, that's number, waiting for 25, that is Carson Schmidt! Great job shutting down the Los Sal attack. All right, Edison with the first down after the Carson Schmidt interception at the 27-yard line. There's 2.12 left to go in this first half, and oh no. All right, after the Carson Schmidt interception, Edison had a five-yard offside penalty, and Carlos gets the ball, and he's dropped for two-yard loss to just outside the 20-yard line. All right, 139, second down, about 17 to go for Edison. Niumata rolls to his right, still rolling, still rolling, throwing downfield. And complete to number five, Aiden Brown. He's Johnny on the spot and hot as a pistol today. Let's set this up for you. There's 124 to go. It's third down. We'll call that a uh, four yards to go. Brown got most of that back. Niumata's waiting. Throws quickly. And a first down by Jake Minter. Okay, ball's on 38-yard line. There are 42 seconds left to go in this half. Numata's waiting patiently. Steps back, throws downfield. Oh, intended for Carson Daniels, incomplete. Second down and 10 from the 38-yard line. Numata looks, throws, and behind everybody. 28 seconds left to go. The ball's on the 38-yard line. Third down and 10 for Edison. Niamat, another low snap. Rolls to his right, throws, and incomplete. That'll bring up a fourth down. 21 seconds left to go in this first half. Nico Plummer back to Bummer back to Poe. Gets a high pump, but it's going to get a squirrely. Oh, it gets an Edison roll here. All right, there's 11 seconds left to go in this half. Tailback gets the ball, comes up the middle, finds him, fumbles the ball, and recovered by number 25, Carson Schmidt. Got a fumble recovery and an interception. All right, this will be the last play of the first half. Nehemiah drops straight back, throws, out, and complete to Carson Daniels, pushed out of bounds, and that's the end of the first half. With that, your Chargers are winning at halftime, 24 to seven. All right, Edison starts his second half by kicking off. Another scribber down the middle. Pitch back to number 17, and he is tackled on the play by number 59, that's Cooper Cirillo. All right, first series of the second half for Los Salamitis. Gets the ball in 30, throws out to the flat. That's who that was on the play. Looking for a number. That's number 16, Carson Daniels with the tackle. Loss on the play. All right, second down and 11 for the Griffins. Quarterback waits, takes the snap, quickly fires out, and Jeff Grady with the reception. All right, third down and 11 for Los Alamitos. Quarterback dropping straight back, getting pressured. Comes to the middle and is sacked on the play. Let's see who that is. That's number 27. Number 27 is Caleb Kingsbury, baby. What his mom said. All right, the Edison defense has come out in this second half and made a statement with a three and out and a punting situation for Los Alamitos. Nearly blocked. Gets a bounce, stay away. Ball's gonna roll down to the 36 yard line. First and 10, Edison from the 36 yard line. Niamata rolling to his left, stops, throws downfield, and low and no go intended for Aiden Brown. 
Second down and 10 for Edison. Niumata takes the snap, gives to the tailback. That's Daniel Sonnenberg. Scoots outside and gets the first down. His first carry of the game, good for, we'll call it, about 13 yards. The Sonnenberg run took Edison to the 48-yard line. Oh, fumble on the play, but let's see who came up with that. That was, look, 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 still looking. It's number 65 is Diego Iglesias. Diego Iglesias with that fumble recovery, or bobble snap recovery, prevented a little disaster there for Edison, Niumata, another low snap, drops straight back, throws downfield, oh, and overthrows Jake Minter. 8.35 to go in this uh, third quarter, third down, we'll call that 10, and Niumata is sacked. All right, the Griffin defense uh, stiffened and held, and Nico Bamber back, big high punt, goes over his head, just take a knee, there you go. All right, with that errant uh, high snap, Los Salamitos gets the ball on the, we're calling that the 12-yard line. First and 10, let's see if the Edison defense can hold. Quarterback looks, throws, intercepted. He could go if he gets a block. One to beat, misses, makes the quarterback miss. All right, that's number 21, Jake Moore. And not only did we hold them out, we got the ball out near the 50-yard line. Okay, uh, we got the ball back, but not on the 50. They said there's a personal foul against Edison De uh, after the possession. Newmata gives the ball. Carlos tries to dance outside and is thrown down. Gabe Carlos picked up five yards on the play, putting the ball out near the 15. Newmata gets the ball. This time he keeps it and is wrapped up. And that'll be tackle for a loss. All right, that tackle for a loss pushes us back. It is third down and 10. You might another low slap, snap throws. Downfield, caught. Number five, Aiden Brown. Aiden Brown is in fuego, baby, in fuego. All right, Aiden. Brown took us out of the shadow of the end zone and up downfield. Tailback gets the ball. Still running. Carlos still running. Picks up about eight yards on the play. Keep those legs moving, running backs. Great job. All right, the ball is just on the inside of the 50 yard line. Second down is short. Neumata scrambles around the right side, gets first down. Lots of room to go. And knocked out of bounds around, we'll call that the 41-yard uh, line. No, I'm sorry, 36-yard line. 4.37 left to go in this third quarter. Edison with a first down on the 36-yard line. Niamata throws. Downfield. Oh, nearly intercepted. Third down and 10. Carlos gets the ball, Met immediately picked up a half a yard on the play, brings up the fourth down. All right, the Edison coaching staff showing a lot of faith in its offense and its defense, going for it, uh, fourth and a long nine from the 36. New matter drops straight back, throws downfield. Ooh, in the end zone, we're thinking, we're waiting for the call. Touchdown! Sorry about the camera work. All right, touchdown, Carson Daniels. 38 yards from Niumata. All right, Carson Daniels with his second touchdown reception from Niumata. Bammer with the ball, it's up and it's good. And with that, your JV Chargers have surged ahead 31 to seven. Nico Bammer back for another kickoff, which is a very, very good thing for us. Another scribble right down the middle, see what kind of bounce it gets this time. This time it gets away. Tries to dance outside. Oh! That's a hold if there ever was one. And knocked out of bounds by Daniel Sonnenberg. All right. That uh, penalty pushed the Griffins way back. Quarterback tries to run out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds by Carson Daniels, our touchdown maker. There was no gain on that play for Los Alamitos. Brings up second down and 10. 
Tailback gets the ball and he's wrapped up by Yasbani Kano. All right, third down and 10. Actually, third down and 11. There's a loss on that play. Quarterback drops, throws, and the ball's up. No! Nearly picked off. That was Jake Moore almost getting his mitts on that, but it's going to bring up fourth down and a punting situation for the Los Alamitos Griffins. All right, the uh, Edison defense has just been spectacular in the second half, forcing a punt out of the end zone. Ball is up. Get away, get away, get away, get away. And it's going to settle down to the 50-yard line. Good field position. There are 2 minutes and 26 seconds left in this third quarter. Edison with the ball. Smack dab on the 50-yard line. Niamata takes the snap. Gives to the tailback. Carlos pushes ahead. Gets about oh, 4 yards on that carry. Okay, I got to... Make amends here. Gabe Carl has picked up five yards on that play. Second down and five. Sonnenberg in the backfield for Edison. He gets the ball. Tries to come outside. Met immediately. No gain on the play. Maybe a half a yard. 50 seconds left to go in this third quarter. We're going to call that third and a long four. First down completion. Oh, they're calling it incomplete. Well, that's not the right call either. <laughs> okay. The officials call that an incomplete pass. Brings up a fourth down for Edison. This time the ball doesn't go over his head. Good big boot. Hopefully we get a good roll. Roll it around. Keep it out of the end zone. Oh, yeah, baby. Aiden Brown puts that ball down on the one meter line. And the crowd is going crazy, as you can tell by the shaking of the cap. All right, Los Alamos has the ball, first and 10 from just outside the goal line. And intercepted, Carson, oh, drop. Carson Daniels almost had it. All right, 26 seconds left to go in the quarter. Tailback gets the ball, met immediately, tries to break outside. Not a safety because he was uh, stopped at the one yard line. All right, that play brings the third quarter to an end. Edison up 31 to seven. All right, it is third down. The ball just outside the goal line. Quarterback steps back, throws, and complete for a first down. All right, first and 10 for the Griffins from the 16 yard line. Quarterback dropping, rolling to his left. He decides to run and gives himself up. No gain on the play, maybe a loss of one. Right, actually lost yardage on that play. Court tailback gets the ball and is buried immediately. All right, let me straighten out my mess. The quarterback on the scramble two plays earlier actually picked up about four yards. The last play had no gain. Quarterback throws, intercepted. He's gone to the house. That's number 14, Jake from. I'll tell you what, this defense has played brilliant, brilliant this second half. All right, Jack Fromm with the INT in the return. We're for a touchdown, brings up Nico Bammer. His kick is up, it's good. And with that, with 10 21 to go in the contest, your Edison JV Chargers have zoomed out to a 38-7 lead. All right, Nico Bammer kicking again, which is a good thing. Another scribber down the middle. Let's see what kind of bounce gets this time. Uh, right to him. Number 11 trying to dash outside. Find some room. Tackled on the play. Let's see who that was in the bottom. It's number 99, yes, Bonnie Cano. It is first and 10 for the Griffins from the 45-yard line. 8.59 to go in the ball game. Quarterback throws wide open and tackled on the play. Let's see who that was. That's number 23. Number 23 is Jeremiah Ross. There was a nine yard pickup on that play. Brings down second and very, very short. Tailback gets the ball, finds room, gets first down. Tackle from behind. Let's see who that was back there. Oh, so that's number 37, and that is David Vasquez. 
It is first and 10, ball and 36. And the ball gets down to the 30. All right, that last ball was incomplete, so it's second down and 10. Tailback drops it, recover. Oh! Quarterback gets it back and finally tackled on the play. Let's see who that was with the tackle. Number 27 with the tackle is Caleb Kingsbury. We're under seven minutes to go. Third and 14, the ball on the 40 for Los Alamitos. Quarterback tries to come outside, tackle for a loss on the play. That's number 37, that's Vasquez again. Having a great game. All right. Los Alamitos is going to punt the ball away. Another great stand by the Edison defense. Ball is up in the air. Gets a good Griffin bounce. It's going to sail down to the nine yard line. All right, there are five minutes and 15 seconds left to go in the contest. The ball is just inside the 10 yard line for Edison. That is uh, Jamison back. He drops, picks it up, throws, throws downfield. Oh, caught. Still running, still running, fighting the tackler off. That's number 17, Jake Minter, baby. Well, if you ever needed the definition of a yak, a yard after yards after catch, that was it with Jake Minter right there. All right, Jamison gives to number 85, tailback, breaks through, one to beat. He's moving, moving, no, oh, great, great move. That's number 85, that is Carson Smith. All right, Carson Smith, not Schmidt, but Smith, got a great run there. Gets the ball again, this time he's met, and maybe a gain of one on the play. All right, there's no gain on that play, brings up second down and 10 from the 12. Jamison takes, give to Smith again, he's met again. We're under two minutes. There was a pickup of a yard on that play, so it brings up, uh, call it third down and nine. Jamison looks, throws into the end zone. Let's go! And incomplete. Ball intended for Aiden Brown. One ten left to go. Fourth down. Jamison throws into the end zone. And let's see if he came up with it. I can't tell. Touchdown. Trying to see who that was. That's Jake Minner, baby. Jake Minner has had an outstanding game on both offense and defense, and he comes up with a touchdown here from Jamison. All right, Nico Alabama up, and it's good. And with that, with just 23 seconds left to go in this ball game, the clock running, 45 for Edison and seven for the home Griffins. All right, that was the last play of the ball game. Outstanding job on both sides of the ball by your Edison JVs. Undefeated in league. Two more games to go. Once it, one against Fountain Valley, the other against CDM. And we'll see you next week for the Bell Game match.